Today is about day number 40 since these finger limes have been planted in my grove. I come and I see a lot of purple flushing, tremendous amount of good. They're growing really well. I did find some worms uh, on them, about one per plant. So I don't think it was a big problem. So I want to remove them by hand. I'm not going to apply anything until I see it become a problem. But what I want to do today is I want to train them properly. I have no experience with finger lines. With most of my other fruit trees, I like to for them to develop a thick trunk. So I prune constantly. And I also have to train it to prune the lower part. So at some point in time, they're going to have to get used to the mechanical herbicide equipment. So I think that's important and that I could just maybe cover them like I do other fruit trees in the early stages of development. One of the things that motivated me to do this uh, training and pruning, I saw some pictures from Central Florida where some of these finger limes had collapsed due to the force of the wind. I've seen them and the uh, tropical station here, it, it grows as a very thick bush. So the idea is let's give them some space to the winds uh, to run through it without knocking the tree down and with a very strong trunk. This tree in particular is growing amazingly high. It's really good. I am going to try to now to put a stake on the ground and begin the training process. I'm going to be thinning out uh, some of the um, foliage here and I'm going to, so I could be able to bring this back up and straighten it to the pole. Perfect. We're going to try to make a space right here in the middle of the uh, trunk to try to facilitate the tying of the and also create some spaces for the wind to grow through. Now we're going to trim these branches facing the ground. That really not going to do much for us as we plan to clean the bottom of the tree. I'm just going to tip it off here a little bit to see, I'm probably going to do another uh, piece of tape here, and that's it. This is our first one. This is how it's uh, looking. And let's do a couple of more, see if we get better at it. So this is how they look after they've been trimmed. We done it to six. It took a lot of the branches let's see if they like it or if they don't like it or if it was a mistake or not but i think they look pretty good to me